everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. Hope you're having a great week. I am back with another card this week and it is a super simple one. It took me longer to set up my camera than it did to actually film making this card. This card is super easy and it's great for kids giving out Valentines at their school or to your favorite loved one or whoever you want to give this to. And the best part is you can actually do this technique and make this card for whatever holiday. You don't just have to have the heart, you can do a lot of different things with this card because all of the materials for it are interchangeable, including the heart shape that you see on the card. Super easy, super fast. Let's go ahead and check out the video. So the first thing that I did is I cut out a heart using my Cricut, and I'm gonna take my Zig two-way glue pen, and I'm gonna put it onto the back here. It doesn't really matter since this is a white piece of paper, um, which side you do it on, but I'm going to go ahead and apply the Zig two-way glue onto the back. Just enough that it stays. I'm not actually going to glue this down. I'm going to wait for it to dry. That's the cool thing about this Zig two-way glue is it can be used as adhesive, but it can also, whenever it dries clear, it can then be used to um, just attach it for a little bit and then you can peel it back up. Now I've had a problem with Zig glue before because whenever I send cards in the mail, I guess it's the humidity here in Texas or something, I don't know what, but for some reason my Zig 2 way glue, whenever I use it on cards and I mail them, it never stays together. It ends up falling apart. So I have not really used this glue for anything other than just to do a temporary bond. So my Zig 2 way glue has had a chance to set and it's now dry enough that it's gonna peel back up whenever I finish with it. I have a piece of watercolor paper here. This is a pack that I bought at, uh, this was from Michaels, it's Artist Loft. Um, I really like it, it is 24 sheets and I haven't used very much, I'm, I'm still working on my first page of this. So it works out really great for doing cards and using watercolor on them. Um, this was 50% off with a coupon at Michael's, so make sure to bring your coupons whenever you go get this. Like this paper so far, can't wait to see what else it does. So I've cut that watercolor paper into a 3x3 three three square, and I'm going to take my heart and I'm just going to place it right in the center, or as much centered as I can get. Being the off-kilter crafter, it's not always going to be 100% perfect, and it's not, but that's okay. So next thing that I'm going to do, I wanted to show this to y'all really quickly. I have taken a piece of cardboard and I have folded it so that I can actually put my uh, little mini blender tool foams in it. Um, keeps them all in one place and what I've done is I've attached little Velcro squares underneath them. So that way I can just pop them in and out very quickly and then when I'm done, fold it up and put it on the shelf. Now, the reason I did this is because I tried to put it underneath the Distress Ink, um, but when I did that, they didn't stack anymore. And the way that I have them stored, I need them to stack. So instead of putting them underneath, I just made this cute little folder. It took me, you know, 10 minutes to get everything the way I needed it, and it works perfectly. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take my Distress Ink. This one is going to be Barn Door. I also am going to use some salty ocean and some seedless preserves. So I'm taking my blender tool, my mini blender tool, and I'm just going to go over the edge. Now I'm going to grab some seedless preserves. And I'm going to start off and then work my way on. Last color I'm going to do is Salty Ocean. Once again, I'm going to start off to the side of the card and then work my way on. So I'm now just done with my Distress inks, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up and put that on the shelf again. And now we're left with this really cool colored looking piece. So that piece is ready. Now you could take this piece and just go ahead and peel that heart off and use it just like that. But I want to do a little bit of um, some blending on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini mister bottle and I'm just going to spray it right on top. And that's going to help to mix all the colors a little bit more and get them moving because Distress Inks reacts with water very well 
And when that happens, you get some really cool texturing and patterns that form. And now I'm going to take my heat tool and dry everything off. All right, here comes the magic of this piece. I'm going to go ahead and take the heart off. If I can find an edge. There we go. I'm doing this very gingerly. Now I did that very carefully um, so that way you can use this piece, um, the extra heart left over, you can use that on another piece, on another project, or use that in the current cards you're working on. Now I love how it made all this beautiful color all around it. It kind of came off of this heart and made an outline on this one. Really love how that turned out. It did warp a little bit, but that's why I'm going to use my Tombow Extreme to lay it flat again. Now to finish up my card, I have a piece of Recollections. This is a Recollections All Season Cardstock Paper Pack. Um, has 240 sheets of just every single holiday that you could ever imagine. Um, and I'm going to use the hearts for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tombow Extreme Permanent Adhesive Runner, and I'm going to run some adhesive over it. And I'm going to put this towards the top. Now I have a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. It is a side folding card, so I'm going to take my piece, I'm going to add adhesive to it using my ATG. And just like that. So as you can see, this card is super easy to make and super quick to replicate, so that way you can make many in just one sitting. Now don't forget guys, I'm doing a giveaway on my channel, so make sure to check out this video. I'm going to put a link up right over here. Make sure to check out that video. It gives you the instructions on how to enter my giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a set of Cricut pens that work in the Cricut Explorer, which is that one just under my cover over there. So make sure you check out that video. You don't want to miss out on the chance to win free stuff. I like free stuff, and I know you do too. Also guys, don't forget to check out my Wreck This Journal series. It's a fun series about a journal that prompts you to do interesting, strange things that you wouldn't normally. And it's been a lot of fun so far, and I can't wait to continue making videos on it. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link right over here. You can click that box, and it'll take you directly to the playlist of the Wreck This Journal. So that's all I got for today. I hope y'all have a great week, and until next time, keep it off kilter. Bye! I'm going to take my colorless blender. Ink it up. Colorless blender. Jeez. Really? So I'm taking my distress ink and I'm getting it onto the pad of the. Um, I'm already getting it on the page. I don't know how I did that. Um,